Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, we're making saltfish fillers, which is something that's really, really popular in Brooklyn and in the Caribbean, of course. So here you can see that I'm showing you guys the saltfish that I bought and it has salt on it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you rinse off the salt or of the actual fritter with salt water and then you're going to take the saltfish or codfish whatever you call it and put it into the pot of hot boiling water so I just continue to rinse and I add all of my fish into the pot so that it can boil I'm gonna have it boil for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna pour the water off rinse it off and then Fill the pot back up with more water and boil it for another 15 minutes. And we want to do this because the fish is cured in salt. So we want to get all that salty flavor out. So here are the results. Here's my salt, my salt fish. I call it salt fish. In Jamaica, that's what we call it, salt fish. But some people call it cod fish or whatever. So here's my salt fish. And right now I'm just going to break it up. Because we are making fritters, you want to make sure that, you know, every fritter has bites and bits and pieces of sawfish in it. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just breaking up my sawfish. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some of my seasoning. So seasoning and fritters is very important. So here I have some bell peppers, some red onions, some scallion or green onion, and some cilantro. Um, traditionally, in Jamaican um, sawfish fritters, we don't use cilantro, we use tomatoes. But um, if you're from the Caribbean, and like if you live in New York City, you'll see that when you go different places, they make their fritters differently. So I wanted to make my fritters more, I guess you could say Brooklyn style fritters. So here's my rendition of that. So this is I guess you could say it's not traditional Jamaican fritters, but it is definitely Caribbean fritters. Jamaican fritters, our fritters are usually flat and we put tomatoes in it. Well, at least that's how my mom did hers. So in addition to my herb seasonings, you can see them add a little bit more. <laughs> I'm going to later on add in my dry spices. So this is the garlic powder that I'm adding in. I think that was half of a teaspoon and then I added in one fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder and then I added in some smoked paprika that's less than one fourth of a teaspoon I love the taste that smoked paprika gives food oh my god especially now that I'm doing like healthy meal prep for my customers it takes the flavor to the next level Curry, you have to add in your curry. I love um, fritters that have a little color to it. And I feel like this adds a great flavor and a great color to the actual batter. You guys will see that later on that I actually add a little bit more curry to the batter as well. Green seasoning, something that's very popular. Um, I use Jamaican Choice Green Seasoning. And you can see that I use about, um, I want to say a tablespoon and a half of green seasoning. If you guys see this gate in the little corner, I don't have a dog. Most Jamaicans, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. Some Jamaicans don't put dogs in the house. <laughs> That's for my daughter, so she doesn't come into my kitchen. So I add a little bit of adobo in there as well. But she's always trying to get in my kitchen. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the craziness that we get into. And I have some Jamaican choice hot yellow pepper sauce. Um, you could use the calypso sauce as well, but um, some people, they cut up the scotch bonnet peppers and they put it inside the fritters. I don't know. I don't know if I want to bite into a piece of scotch bonnet. So I think the yellow pepper sauce will give it some kick, which I love spice. And also um, it would give it some great color as well. And that'd be as spicy. So here now I'm adding in some flour.
And I added in total about two cups of flour. And then I added in some yeast. A little bit of yeast, I wanna say half of a one fourth table teaspoon of um, yeast. And then this was one fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. So for your dry, dry ingredients, it's all purpose flour, yeast, and um, baking powder. And now I'm adding in warm water to activate these. I'm just gonna mix that together. And so you're looking for a loose batter because we are going to let this batter sit. For, I let mine sit for like a good 15 minutes just so it could thicken. And then off camera, I did add in more flour, but in total, I added in two cups of flour. So don't add in more than two cups of flour if you're making one packet of the Pollock. It's like the blue Pollock sawfish that you get at the, the supermarket. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't realize I put my face in there like that. <laughs> I added a little bit more curry powder, as you can see, because if it don't look flavored to me, it's not. A little bit of black pepper. Listen, gotta season it, yo. <laughs> All right, guys, so now it's time for frying. So this is the consistency of my batter that I want to show you guys. So you can kind of see how it looks. I think it's similar, I want to say to like a pink cake batter. So I'm using a big um, tablespoon, like a spoon that you were used to um, eat with at your dinner table. And if you do see any drippings inside the oil, that's because I tested out a couple before I got on camera to make sure it was good. And um, basically, you're just going to take it. This is this technique, this frying technique is a shallow frying technique. Um, you can deep fry them, but shallow fry is when you don't fill up the entire pot with water. This type of fritter doesn't need to be deep fried. A shallow fry is just as fine. So I'm just adding in my fritters into the hot oil. And now I'm just going to move it around. Um, if you have a slotted spoon, you can see that later on I switched to that. So that was my first batch. I'm going to show you guys the finished product, of course. But I just want to show you guys how to put the fritters into the pot. And then, so when you put them in, you're going to turn them over. Because it's not deep fried and they're not fully submerged in oil. Look how beautiful and professional I might add. And now the shaky camera is because I want to show you guys how it looks on the side. This is the finished product. You did it. All right, so really quick, I want to make a quick sauce. So I picked up some Jamaican choice mango chutney, added that in there, and then I used my Jamaican choice hot yellow pepper sauce. Um, I do not want any Guyanese people or Trinidadian people to come for me on the... <laughs> Underneath the comments, like, oh, this is not, no, listen, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm Jamaican, so I'm going to stick with what I know. So anyway, <laughs> I took those two different sauces and I mixed them together. The mango chutney is um, more sweet and I like, you know, sweet and spicy flavors. So I took the yellow sauce and I mixed that together. Um, You could also use like a tortoise sauce. I was going to do one, but I got lazy. So, 
that's just the finished product. And this is me enjoying it. I have like a whole bunch to snack on. So you guys know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time on Miss Goody's Kitchen. Bye.